Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. We finally got desktop mode on the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Now this is a feature that I've been wanting for a long time. Even just USB type C to HDMI out would have been really nice with the launch of the 8 Pro. And yeah, I am a Pixel user. I completely understand that it's not the most powerful device on the market, but we get those security updates and this has served me very well. Now, in order for this to work at the time of making this video, you will need to be on the latest beta but this is slated to come with the official release once it's out. You can wait it out if you want to, or you can opt in for beta updates over on the website. I'll leave a link in the description. Really easy to do. You just opt in and they'll send you the beta update directly to the phone. You don't have to plug this into an extra PC or anything like that. And in this video, I wanna show you exactly what can be done here. We've actually got two different modes. We can mirror the built-in screen, which is great for just getting a larger display, or we can completely go into desktop mode and desktop mode is exactly why I really wanted this feature. But before we get started here, in order for this to get up and running, you're going to need some way to connect your Pixel device to a TV or monitor. Personally, I suggest one of these cheaper USB Type-C to HDMI adapters. We've also got power in and some USB ports, so it makes it really easy to connect a keyboard and mouse. Or you could go with kind of a dock system. Now there's a ton of these Steam Deck docks on Amazon for really cheap. And yeah, these will work with phones that support HDMI over USB Type-C. It's got Ethernet, power in, and it also dubs as kind of a stand, so this might work out really well for some people. Once you update to that beta or just wait it out for the official release, you can plug your Pixel phone directly into a TV or monitor using one of these HDMI adapters. It's gonna mirror the display, but if you wanna get into desktop mode, you will need to enable developer options. And all the way down here at the bottom, we need to force desktop mode. We also want to force apps to be resizable. That way we can resize them on the larger display. And that's basically it. Then you can get right into desktop mode. But the first thing I want to show you is just mirror mode. See if this is something you might be interested in. Definitely does give you a larger screen here, but it's basically just taking what we've got on the built-in screen and putting it on the larger display. So I'll go ahead and plug this in with one of the docks. On screen, it's gonna ask us if we wanna mirror our display. We'll just choose yes, wait a few seconds, and now we've got video out to a larger display using the Pixel 8 Pro. And what makes this really different from casting is we have zero latency here. It's a wired connection. I've also got a keyboard and mouse plugged into the dock, so we've got keyboard support here. And mirror mode might be great for a lot of people out there, but I personally love desktop mode. And for this to kind of work flawlessly, one thing that I wanted to install was a nice taskbar. Over on Google Play, you can get an app called Taskbar. What this is going to allow us to do is just have a nice little app launcher when we're in desktop mode. Very easy to use. You'll install it, enable desktop mode, and you're good to go. And with desktop mode enabled from developer settings, it's going to look a little something like this on our second screen. Very plain, not much going on here, but we will change this with the third-party app in just a second. We've got a app launcher, and we can put these on our home screen if we want to, just to have easy access to them. But I need a little more out of a desktop setup. So what I've installed here is known as Taskbar. You can download it for free over on Google Play. And once we have Taskbar enabled, we'll have this bar right down here, and this can be closed at any time. Now, one thing I've noticed, at least right now, is I cannot move this any lower. But if we wanted to, we could have this set up on the left-hand side, right or top. And uh, hopefully this is fixed. That way we can get this all the way down to the bottom. We've got our app panel right here. And uh, we can launch multiple applications and we can resize windows. For instance, we'll go with Google Play. We've got this up and running. So we can resize it. There's no snap feature right now. This is something that definitely needs to be added later on. Calculator up on screen and we'll just go ahead and launch Chrome. So we've got these three apps up and running, all resizable. We can drag them, put them basically anywhere we want. We can go through, use each one of these, hit up Amazon. And yeah, not too bad so far. We've got the resizable windows and multiple apps covered. One of the big reasons I would use desktop mode is just the full screen situation we have here. Remember, in mirror mode, we can mirror the built-in screen on the Pixel 8 Pro, but we're gonna get the cutoff on the top and bottom because the aspect ratio isn't the same. In desktop mode, we've got all the screen to work with here, and this is personally how I'd like to run my games and apps. So in this video, we will be testing out some games, but getting some work done on something like this with a bigger screen is pretty easy. 
For instance, if we wanted to do some video editing, one application that I personally use is Adobe Rush. We'll just create a new project, import some media. Scrubbing through the timeline is pretty quick. Now it's not a super high resolution or bitrate video, but you know, if you're on vacation, you want to do a little bit of video editing, having this larger screen really helps out. We can go through trim. We can add different effects if we want to. Adobe Rush isn't top of the line, but for a mobile editor, it'll definitely get the job done. So yeah, you can definitely edit video with this in desktop mode. And when it comes to photo editing, I just installed uh, Photoshop right here. And again, just like Adobe Rush, this isn't top of the line, but uh, if you're on the go, you want a larger screen to work with, we can zoom in here. Let's go with a background adjustment, I think, there we go. Yeah, simple edits, no problem at all. Video editing, photo editing on the Pixel 8 Pro in desktop mode is totally possible. You wanna get some work done, you use Google Sheets, or if you use Outlook, you could always install it here. You've got enough room to kind of get all of your columns up, depending on what you wanna do. Browsing the web, and with this, I'm just at ESPN. We're gonna request that desktop site. There we have it. So we're not on that mobile browser. We've got everything here. Everything loads up pretty quickly. I am connected to Wi-Fi right now. So far, looking pretty good for desktop mode on the Pixel 8 Pro. Definitely want to see some more dex like features come this way. But uh, next thing I wanted to check out was some gaming. Now you will run into a few games that just don't natively support controllers on Android. And I have not been able to get a third party mapper working in desktop mode on any device that I've ever used. So games like Genshin Impact will have to be played in mirrored mode, but you'll still get more screen than you have on the smaller screen with the phone itself. But with something like Minecraft, we'll be able to go full screen, no problem. And we do have the built-in frame counter because we've got the uh, Google games installed on the Pixel. So right here, we've got the real-time frame counter running at 60. Go ahead and jump into a world I created. Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth. For Minecraft here, I forgot to enable external sound. For the next one we test, we will have sound coming out of the TV or the monitor itself. I just kind of blanked on it when I started this up. We're at 18 chunks and the Pixel 8 Pro doesn't have the most powerful CPU on the market, but it does handle these native Android games pretty good. Next up, we've got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and this is the Netflix version. So if you have a subscription to Netflix, you can actually download this on Android. Not exactly sure if the paid version does allow you to up the frame rate, but as high as we can go with this on Android right now, at least with the Netflix one, is 30 FPS, and it is a bit noticeable. I know a lot of phones out there would run this just fine at 60. Because even with a game like Call of Duty Mobile, we can get this up to high settings 60 FPS on the Pixel 8 Pro, and even in desktop mode, we're seeing some great performance. I am using an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth, and for some of these games, if I wanted to use a wired controller, they will detect it, but not every single game will detect a wired controller for Android for some odd reason. It's really hit or miss, but having a Bluetooth controller connected works out just fine for games that natively support controllers on Android. So what we've taken a look at so far are just Android games. I also wanted to test at least one emulator. So we've got some PSP using PPSSPP, 3X resolution, Vulcan back in, Chains of Olympus running at 60. I've got the built-in frame counter for the app itself on screen in the top right hand corner. Great performance with PSP when it comes to the Pixel 8 Pro. I'm pretty happy to see this feature coming over to the Pixel phones. I mean, even just being able to mirror the display is something that I've been wanting with these Pixel phones for a very long time. And with this new beta, it's now enabled on the Pixel 8 Pro. Hopefully they do add some more desktop features here. I'd like to see a fully fleshed out desktop interface here, kind of like Samsung has with Samsung DeX. But for now, I'm just happy we at least have video out. This is definitely a great step in the right direction and I just can't wait to see what they do next with it. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're interested in testing this feature out on your Pixel 8 Pro, I will leave a link to their beta website. All you really need to do is opt in and it'll automatically download on your device. So, uh, I mean, it's really up to you. If you want to wait for the official version, you can definitely do that also. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.